hi guys welcome back so today i'm going to show you how to make a simple way how to make dimensions okay so we are going to create a dimension in one is to one scale and i will show you how you can make uh, other scale like one is to ten or any scale uh, with this okay so it's a simple i will show you how to do it just follow the step okay first you need to create a textile so which uh, so you e e see we can use that textile to our dimension okay for making textile you can type s t for style okay and uh, then you can see this textbook coming so you can make a new click new then i'm going to name as arial because i'm going to select arial text which i like it okay so i choose already area then make sure regular and height should be zero and width vector should be one okay so that's all you don't need to do any other things then select the area mix set current okay click close so next one you need to make it dimension style okay you can just click uh, sorry type d for dimension style and the uh, then you can see the dimension style manager window and in this one normally uh, in autocad um, we have one annotative and one standard so i'm going to make one is to one scale dimension as a new so i'm clicking as a new so it's always asking for which one we need to take starting okay so because we have one standard one annotated so i'm going to start with the standard because which one is normal standard so i'm going to the name as dim dash one okay so just continue so i'll show you the how to set up all the things but it's simple you don't need to worry about anything just follow my step you don't need to do everything just do what i'm showing so in the lines you can just change the uh, properties color Uh, if you want any specific color or choose by layer i'm always choosing by layer because it's easy to control everything make it by layer so whenever we apply to any layer this dimension it's automatically take all the properties okay so you can click this one send base spacing make it 3.75 and make sure these are on tick you can see if it's tick the extend leader it's turning off you can see okay so the other one you can see the extend line this one uh, i like to make by layer also have it make sure i'm just everything by layer okay the same thing i'm i'm taking this two because otherwise it will it will not hide the the lines okay the extension line and the extension below dim lines you can make 1.25 you can play with this one so these are the typically um, i'm using that's why i'm just making and this one because we are making in m mm, so i'm just making 0.625 okay 
other one you don't need to do anything this thing on the light part make everything by layer baseline spacing just make it 3.75 and this thing okay so the next step symbol and arrows so you can choose arrows so I'm I like to make it architectic so uh, whatever you like if you need the other one you can choose okay but leader close fill uh, one I like it so I like to make the size as 1.25 okay then mark just make it one then break line I like to make 3.75 so you can see I'm using 1.25 most of the and the baseline space 3.75 I'm using okay so that's all I don't need to do any other things okay so one is uh, arrowhead so you can choose which one and just um, leader arrow size and also the uh, center mark size and the break line size okay so the next one I'm going to start with the text so you can see textile so I like to make Arial which are this one we already made on the first on the beginning I s I made a style textile so I'm just choosing here so the color I like to make by layer and I don't want any fill color or anything okay so for the text height you can choose from 2 or 2.5 okay so up to your company standard 2 or 2.5 okay I'm going to choose 2 and here on the text placement and this one is making a rectangle for text uh, I don't like it. okay and because standard we normally never use these things on the rectangle so I just untake okay then text placement make sure it's uh, above you can choose on the center also it's, it's not big deal but uh, I'm just showing which one is normally use everyone okay so ho this horizontal make sure it's centered and view direction just left to right there's no issue and this one after from dim line I mean this line that's of this dim line okay and the text offset from this dim line that's we we need to mention here okay so I'm going to make just 0 0.75 that's fine and text alignment I like to make ISO standard so you can see these are already uh, uh, rotated as per the dimension so that's it in this one you can see the text style and text color I like to make a by layer and fill color I'm, I didn't I don't use and text height and the vertical placement above and other things keep it as it is and just offset change it and text alignment okay then the next one fit you don't need to worry about any other things here so just click this one uh, always keep that text between extension there okay so it will choose a string one so this is a better option and also for this one when text is not default position place it okay that placement so better to click here so over dimension without leader okay and here on this side scale dimension feature don't click annotate because you are not using make sure use scale of this one as a one okay 
and fine tuning you can just click here draw dim line between exchange line okay so the last one so you don't need to worry about tolerance or alternate unit okay just go to primary uni units make sure this is in unit should be decimal the precision up to you normally we use two digit and if you need any round off you can just use here any prefix or suffix okay but make sure the size scale factor you don't need to you don't need to touch it should be one okay so that's all then just for zero suppression make sure it's trailing okay so for the angular dimension you can choose decimal degree and also zero okay that's all so you don't need to worry about these two tab up to here you, you, you need to fill it okay so i'm going to press okay then set current so i'm going to make dli so for dimension linear so i'm just trying okay this is scale one is to one okay so currently we made a uh, dimension for one is to one so i'm going to make i'm going to show you how to make other scale like 1 is to 10 or 20 or 50 or whatever uh, with starting with this 1 is to 1 ok it's a very simple just click dimension for dimension style D and I'm going to make new ok so I'm going to make dimension 10 so make sure start with uh, our dimension so dim one okay just continue then don't touch any of setting just go to the fit on fit just change here overall scale of just change to 10 so if it's if you are making 100 just change here 100 if you are making 50 just change here 50 or 5 or 2 or anything just value here so that's simple okay so i'm just i'm going to make dimension 10 that's why i'm just filling 10 so click so set current that's all so we're done so this is one and this is 10 so i hope you understood all the setting if anything not clear just comment on below videos and subscribe our channel for more tips and also i'm going to make some video for revet um, tutorial for beginners including all the basic setting all the uh, basic tips okay so Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Bye.